Hello students, welcome to this session and uh, today we're going to be focusing on trigonometry questions and I'll be showing you the possible solution of, of some of the questions that you can see on your screen right now. I uh, just thought to share uh, this solution. I know that there might be uh, many different ways uh, to, to solve some of these questions. So I just thought to share this uh, as it's really closely related to what has been covered in grade 12. Okay. All right. Let, let's take a look at question one. And we, we're just going to start with this question. And it says, uh, simplify your given cos into arc sine x minus arc tan y. They say simplify this uh, in terms of x and y. So this is a, a, a little bit challenging question uh, because uh, most of the students might not know how to first approach it and, 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 and that can be a challenge. When, when solving it, right? So in this session, you'll be able to know how to solve questions like this. And I'll just show you two examples, show you the last one, then that's it from, from this lesson. Okay, so you are given cos into, let me just write it down. You are given cos into arc sine x minus arc tan y. They said simplify simplify in terms of x and y in other words this question can also be uh be, be like um express the following in terms of x and y or they can just say evaluate so so those are some some of the uh, questions they might ask you using this expression okay in order to solve this question uh you can see that uh, as you can look at the question we think of a certain rule right we are thinking of a certain rule that is compound angle of cos. That's the first rule that comes in mind. Compound angle of cos, where we can see that from the rule compound angle of cos, if we have cos A minus B is the same as cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. So that's the, 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 the rule that we can clearly see from, from this expression, right? So what can we do now? We can uh, let x sine x to be equals to a and let x tan y be equals to b, right? So in solving this, uh, because that's the root that we can clearly see, cos a minus b uh, uh, as, as component angle of cos. So after letting arc sine x to be equal to a and uh, letting arc tan y to be equal to b, what can we do is that we know that this thing can be uh, rewritten, right? Because it's like they were solving for an angle. So uh, if, if I have to take it back, uh, we'll be left with x is equal to sine a, right? Because also, if you want to solve for sine angle A, remember A is an angle, right? A is an angle because it's, it's in, inside the bracket there. So it's an angle. So if I want to solve for A, I'll just say arc sine X. So it's still the same thing. And also this side, I can just take it back to be uh, Y is equal to what? Tan B because B is an angle. So Y is equal to tan B in order to... to to take it back again, I can just say b equals to arc tan y. So it's still the same thing, right? So we're just trying to solve it in terms of, of x and y. So that's what we have to do. Okay, so look at this now. Uh, from this expression, uh, this side. Okay, let me just separate the, the two expressions. So we have sine a is equals to x, right? So what can we do? We can draw a triangle, a right angle triangle. For this case right you have your a and you know that sine is equals to opposite over hypotenuse so we know that there there is over one right so sine a will be opposite what is your opposite is that side which is x what is your hypotenuse is that side which will be one 
so it's opposite of a hypotenuse then we need to actually solve for this side right we need to solve for this side then when we solve for this side we're going to just use the theorem of pythagoras we say one squared hypotenuse squared equals to the sum of the two other sides squared right so it will be one squared equals to x squared plus unknown squared then when you solve for unknown definitely it's going to be one minus x squared root of one minus x squared root of one minus x squared right okay so we, we actually done that side let's come to this side we have tan b is equals to y also i'm just gonna draw a triangle right angle triangle in order to express this so i have b there and this is my right angle tan what is tan tan is equals to what opposite over adjacent opposite over just and we know that there, there is over one so your opposite is y where is my opposite is this side is y where is my adjacent is this side which is one so now we need to determine the hypotenuse obviously we're going to use theorem of pythagoras so theorem of pythagoras hypotenuse squared is equals to y squared plus one squared then we apply the square root then you'll see that the hypotenuse should be 1 plus y squared. 1 plus y squared. 1 plus y squared is your hypotenuse. Okay, now we can actually uh, solve for our expression now, right? So we can now go back to say, uh, because we, we have drawn a triangle in terms of A and in terms of B, we can go back to this expression and replace our a and b right so if we go back it will be cos into look at this we said arc sine x must be a so we'll replace it with a minus we said arc tan y must be b we replace it with b right uh, but we know that is a rule right we know that is a rule so the rule says uh, cos a cos b uh, plus sine a sine b sine a sine b so it's it's compound angle of cos that's the rule right so let's 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 solve now cos a we have a diagram it's gonna be easy cos a will be adjacent over hypotenuse what is your adjacent from your triangle uh, we can see the adjacent is what is a root 1 minus x squared so it's the root 1 minus x squared is our adjacent what is our hypotenuse our hypotenuse is 1 right let's go to cos b we go to this other triangle cos b adjacent over hypotenuse this is 1 over root of 1 plus y squared okay so let's look at sin a sin a will be opposite over hypotenuse opposite over hypotenuse then it will be x over 1 right sin b uh, we go to this other triangle it will be opposite of hypotenuse that is y on top over root of 1 plus y squared root of 1 plus y squared okay let's let's simplify it we can actually multiply root of 1 minus x squared times 1 it will still remain root of 1 minus x squared divided by root of 1 plus y squared times 1 it will still remain root of 1 plus y squared plus this side x times y it will be xy over 1 times root of 1 plus y squared it will just be root of 1 plus y squared right so when we actually simplify we take the lowest common denominator it is root of 1 plus y squared then on top we'll be left with what 1 minus x squared plus xy plus xy so we have expressed our expression in terms of x and y so it's actually quite a challenging uh, problem but um, you just need to check the rule we saw that from from inside we can actually apply this rule then we we just gonna let the things inside to be a things another thing to be b then we just um reverse them reverse them throw a triangle then you'll be able to express it in terms of x and y okay
Okay, let's take a look at question two. And uh, I just put this question just to enhance your understanding on solving trigonometric expression, whereas you are also given the arc, uh, arc maybe arc sine, arc tan, arc something, where you are just given the reverse of, of that one when you are solving for an angle. So they gave you cos arc sine x. They say simplify the following. Sometimes they can say express the following in terms of x. It's also a great problem and 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 it can also be um, uh, examined in 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 higher education so uh we have a uh, cos x sine x right so uh we know that this thing inside is an angle right what we know is that x sine x is an angle of cos right so what we can do we can let x sine x which is an angle to be equal to theta right let x sine x to be equal to theta someone can just say let x sine x to be equal to a right so uh, you can use any alphabet beside x because x is already used there so let x sine x is equal to theta then we're just gonna reverse it then we'll have x is equal to sine theta we know that if we are solving for this theta, we're going to say theta equals to arc sine x. So uh, it's, it's basically the same thing. So after doing this, we can sketch our triangle. Right angle triangle, whereas we'll be having theta there. And we just need to check our sine theta. We know it's opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is x. Hypotenuse, it will be 1 because we know there is over one here so x over one is 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 x so opposite of our hypotenuse then we have to solve for this side using the theorem of pythagoras it will give you one minus x squared to give you one minus x squared so this is basically simpler uh, than the previous one uh, because we don't have many things like to we don't have to draw many triangles so after doing this then we can just go back to our expression again we have cos right but remember we let that x sine x to be theta then we just replace that thing with theta then it's easier to solve it now it's easier to express it then you just go to your triangle you express this cos will be adjacent over hypotenuse which is root of one minus x squared over one which will give you root of one minus so it will give you root of one minus x squared as your final answer okay okay let's let's now look at this last question it's question three of of our trigonometric expression so it's quite challenging but it's it's very simple it says evaluate the value of actan x plus actan one over x let me just write it down we have actan x uh, plus arc tan 1 over x so they said evaluate the value of the following so the in, in this one is quite different to the one that we have been doing because in the previous one we are just expressing those expression in terms of x sometimes expressing them in terms of both x and y but in this one they want you to get the value of this expression okay there's a very important restriction or condition they say for 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 which x is greater than than zero for which x is greater than zero let's get the the the, the answer of this so we know that for x greater than zero x can be equals to what someone can just say 0 0.1 0 0.1 is also greater than zero uh someone can say x will be equals to one we know uh x can be equal to 2 or x can be equal to 3 or x can be equal to 4 any value of x that is greater than 0 that's what they need right so in order to, to evaluate the value of that thing very simple you just go and substitute any value that is greater than 0 then you just get the answer right so we can choose any value to substitute i'll just choose one so i can say let x be equals to one right let x equals to one then after writing that 
I'm just going to substitute there. Then I can go and patch my calculator to get the, the answer. 1 over, uh, 1 over 1. Then let me punch my calculator. It will give me uh, 90 degrees. 90 degrees. So that will be the final answer. So any value of x that is greater than 0 that you're going to substitute in this expression must give you 90 degrees. It must give you the same answer because uh, this expression has this restriction for this condition. Uh, x must be greater than zero. Just take any value of x, substitute it that is greater than zero. It will give you 90 degrees. We can actually express this answer in, in radians, right? In radians. So by multiplying it, if you want to express the, the, the degrees to radians, you can just multiply it with pi over 180 so it can be 90 degrees multiplied by pi over 180 degrees then in radians just gonna be uh, pi over pi over 2 okay okay this marks the end of our lesson thank you very much for watching uh, thank you very much for joining me I hope you learned something if you really liked what you learned today, you can just hit the subscription button. You can like this video, drop down your comment and uh, any of the suggestions that you have in order for us to present quality content as always. That's all for me. Don't Goodbye.